Wow. Wow. <laughs> what a cool. That was such a cool way to do that. Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to, I guess, another movie reaction and commentary, but this one's going to be special. This one is going to be the, uh, I guess, an epilogue. Um, I think that's what it's called for Breaking Bad. It's going to be following after the events of Breaking Bad. We've finished up uh, the season, so now we're going to be hopping into this film here. And I'm excited because more Breaking Bad is always a good time. But I'm really interested in seeing what this film is going to be particularly looking at. Um, and just seeing what loose ends they're going to be tying up here. I feel like this is what this film is probably here for. Not only to just, you know... You know, fans like us appreciating it and just being really thankful to having more Breaking Bad, but to also just see how the writers tie up some more loose ends, just to maybe give us a little bit more answers on some of the other things, and maybe just like hint at some future details uh, in that regard. But I'm really excited to jump into this. You guys already know uh, my thoughts about Breaking Bad and just all of the deep themes that come with it. And I'm really excited to just watch an entire movie that is literally Breaking Bad. So it's a win-win here. So again, I appreciate y'all for all the support. I appreciate you guys for leaving comments. Uh, again, shout out to the Patreon for just being not only just ahead of the schedule, um, but just being informative along with the comments that you guys are leaving me, uh, as well as the YouTube comments. You know, it's really cool being able to witness uh, how this show has impacted a lot of you guys in ways that, you know, is specific to you guys and similar for all of us. So I'm excited to jump into this. I'm not going to talk too much on the intro because I kind of want to jump into this. You guys already know again. I crave me some Breaking Bad, but um, yes, for all my Patreon people who are watching this uh, kind of currently, uh, I'm going to be looking at Breaking Bad, and then we're going to be moving into Better Call Saul, but I'm going to be going on a little vacation, so it's going to be a nice little week break from Breaking Bad since I've been kind of back to back with them, but yeah, once I'm back from vacation, we're going to hop right into Better Call Saul, um, but yeah, I wanted to be able to get you guys this movie before I you know, head out there because... I'm sorry, I can't wait that long to watch a Breaking Bad movie. Come on, man. So <laughs> I'm excited about it. Uh, I can't wait to talk about all the filmmaking aspects as well, too. Again, guys, if you want to be able to support the channel, the best way to do it is through Patreon. You get early access, uncuts, as well as other things, as, long, as well as the community, too. Um, you can also support the channel by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And at the end of the day, you don't have to do any of those things. You can just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into El Camino. Again, guys, if you want to be able to watch and hear all that I got to say about this, because I probably will, <laughs> let's be honest, I probably will, definitely check out the uncut versions. Again, on the Patreon, you can sync up your copy of the film with mine and have a blast. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> I can tell by the back of that head, that's Jesse. All right. I wonder if we're just going to follow right after what happened. Only you can decide what's best for you, Jesse. Not him, not me. Damn, seeing Mike and Jesse together again. Oh my goodness. What a vibe these two are, man. Alaska. Yeah? Yo. Yeah, if I were your age, starting fresh. Told y'all. Alaska's a great place to go to if you're trying to just get, get away to. <laughs> Man, what a cut that was. I love that. Damn, I'm happy that we were presented with Mike in the beginning of this. this was, that was just so great because he really does influence his mindset. Jesse has a lot of respect for Mike, even though he doesn't outright say it. Just between the interactions and just gestures, you could tell that there's respect there. <laughs> Dude, you suck. I was about to say, I was like, what in the CGI is that? <laughs> Yo, I was about to say, I was like, yo. That CGI is looking kind of video gamey. You couldn't drive a short bus full of slow kids to the zoo. Yeah, because I'd be too distracted <laughs> by you. You'd be sitting up front in your special helmet. I love these two because I remember Walt giving these guys money 
And I'm looking at the chairs they're sitting in, and they totally spent the bread on that. <laughs> I gotta get that car off the street. Damn. Damn, this is so cool. So I'm gonna assume that we're gonna be following Jesse. And I'm so happy that we get to see Badger and Skinny Pete. I don't know. I just feel like we started off with these guys. It's nice to be able to end with them. Mm. Wow. That was such a good way to showcase that. That was such a great way to show that he is still traumatized by just being imprisoned by these guys. A new bar Irish Spring, whatever. It's underneath, you know, because the old one might have, like, hairs on it and shit. And, uh, uh, yo, I got Axe Body Spray. I got Obsession for Men. I got Tommy Hilfinger. Tommy Hilfinger. <laughs> Damn, bro. These guys love Jesse, man. Jesse, it's, it's crazy that... Maybe don't, like, shave and whatnot, you know? Man, Jesse's been through a lot, man. Jesse's been through a lot. I'm happy that he's with these two out of everyone. Damn, man. I mean, I am happy that we are getting some some instance some instances of what he had to go through. <laughs> it wasn't even just him being in the cage. It was him being tortured and messed around with and made to be less than human. Mm. Feel like a new man? Here we go. Yeah. Thanks. Here we go. Don't take the edge off. If there's any, if there's any time to do that, it's definitely after what Jesse's been through. <laughs> First, I gotta get rid of that car. Damn, it's so cool to be seeing like <laughs> old school places, man. Because I'm sure this is what I, where I think it is. Joining him in the drug trade. Together, the two are responsible for the largest methamphetamine manufacturing operation. Yup. That's him with a bag of red lobsters. <laughs> well, it looks like he's living pretty well. Definitely upgraded. Thank you so much for doing this, Joe. It's about the money if we can maybe. It's on the house. Man, dude, that makes that like warms my heart, man. That that warms my heart. I got I'm like almost choked up from that because man. Jesse's been through it. It's good to see everyone helping him out. Look, Johnny Law is on his way, as in here, as in now. So farewell, goodbye, regrets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> Yo, Joe is like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Why? Hey, you take my car. I don't even like your car. Man, drives like a dick. Friends, man, these are homies, bro. These guys are homies, man. No, I love that. Let's go. Right on. Shout out to Skinny Pete, man. Traded pink slips, then you split. I always wanted me an El Camino, and that's church, yo. <laughs> Pass any lie detector they give me. There you go, yo. Skinny Pete is a G, man. <laughs> this dude is a legend. He is a absolute legend. He took control of that entire situation. So this is it. They might not Hold see up. each other again. Hold up. I was about to say, like, yo, say goodbyes or something. Why are you doing all this? Dude, you're my hero and shit. Damn, man. Holy crap, bro. Holy crap. That's incredible, man. Skinny Pete is a legend. I don't even care what anybody has to say. That was so cool, man. This this entire film is going to be Jesse just getting away from this from this just in from just the season of Breaking Bad. <laughs> this movie is going to document Jesse getting away from the entire season of Breaking Bad that he's been through. Uh, I don't know. 
They said like 40% chance yesterday. <laughs> Yo, Todd is such a weirdo, man. <laughs> Todd is a weird dude, bro. <laughs> I said it in my other episodes with him in it. He is fascinating. He has such a weird attachment thing going on. <laughs> Tried to, you know, escape. I'm going to have to visit the little boy. It'll basically be out of my hands at that point. <laughs> this guy is crazy, man. The way he's describing murking a kid after already doing so in the show is insane. Like this dude, like he's gone. He's not even gone. He's just wired differently. That's wild. Cinematography is really cool, too, by the way. Cinematography has always been a, a very important aspect of filmmaking within Breaking Bad, but it's nice to see little bits of it here in the movie. The unnamed woman who is hospitalized in critical condition is not expected to survive. White, the former Albuquerque school teacher who was the subject of a six-month <laughs> international... Yo, he really killed her. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. He really killed her. I mean, I knew she was done, but damn. Okay, so there's something important about this address. Todd mentioned that he, I guess, lived here. I mean, he could also be lying because he's just <laughs> that type of dude. But he said he needed to go see his landlord at this location. So there must be something here. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. I like what they're doing here. That's a that's a good way to shoot this. <laughs> that was good. Well timed. Love that. What? What? Oh shit. Okay, please don't. Todd, what on earth is wrong with you, man? <laughs> it's he is he is so psychotic, bro. I enjoy his character so much. He's, he brings like such a, a weird filter to our characters here because he's just different. Dude's built different. It's wild. So your cleaning lady was stealing your money? What? No. She was as honest as the day is long. So then why did you kill her, Todd? Why did you kill her? Did you kill her just because she she saw the money? That's ridiculous, man. Like, that's wild. We've seen people get murked in Breaking Bad, but for reasons like this? That's wild. So I'm assuming that Jesse's trying to get the money for his way out of there, right? I'm pretty sure he's trying to go to Alaska. I love that we're flipping back and forth between the present and the past to kind of bring us along this journey of, you know, Jesse trying to find out where the money is too. Damn, what a shot that was. What a shot. Just to show the, the, the height difference. <laughs> and just the weight of that body just hitting the freaking pavement. Nice. Nice lady. Excellent housekeeper. Said it. <laughs> Said it. Oh my God, Todd. Dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> on the way home I was gonna get us some pizza a couple large pies it's such an interesting angle because yeah Jesse has the gun but Todd has the higher ground in this frame meaning that he is still in a position of control here despite Jesse literally having a weapon on him it just goes to psychological damage that he's done to him Yep, there you go. 
There you go. You found your pot of gold. Wow. What the, How the heck do you even... How do you engineer that? I mean, I guess he did say it would take some engineering. Like, he literally did say that. Yeah, we were crazy in this house. Perfectly normal. <laughs> Was that, like, a weird crystal ball of Todd and Lydia? Whoa. That was... That was cool. That was cool how he emerged from the shadows, bro. Lieutenant? <laughs> Yo, Jesse is just a G right now, man. An absolute unit. They're coming up guaranteed. That's right. They're coming up. Then how far do you think you're going to get? <laughs> There's only one choice here, buddy. Yeah, how's he gonna get out of this? What is he gonna do? Jesse, which what's your plan here, man? Mm. Again, I love that we're getting triggers from his past that are affecting him. You two are cops. Oh, <laughs> Yo, who are they then? What? Who are these two? Dusting for fingerprints. You know, it's a delicate process. I thought your CSI boys do that. Didn't they get them all yesterday? Yeah, well, uh... The <laughs> Watch this old man put things together. <laughs> They've been downplaying this old man this entire film. This, guy, this guy's been in Nam. <laughs> he's old, but he's not stupid. Hit him with it. <laughs> Hit him with that thing. <laughs> what is about to happen? What on earth is about to happen, y'all? I just feel like something's about to creep around the corner. Maybe that's just me and my nerves, but I don't know. This is, this is too clean. This is too easy. What? What, 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 what? what am I not putting together? What am I not putting together right here? What do we deal with that was with welding? That was in Breaking Bad? Or maybe it's something that has happened in this film that we just haven't got to the past yet that was shown to us. I'm not sure because I, I don't remember his face. Thank you. Thanks for your help. I'll be back with my Kirby. Excellent. Drive carefully. If there's any questions I can answer, just let me know. <laughs> He's just playing coy. I love this dude, man. <laughs> Which makes sense. I mean, dude, what he does, you have to keep a low profile. And he turned him down. Like, I'm surprised he would even let him even in the store. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> His face, man. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't think it's going to be this easy. Can't just turn somebody down. This is usually like a one-shot thing. But I am here now. All right, and I have cash. So please, okay, please. Damn, his acting is so good. His acting is so good. But I don't think that's gonna work. You owe me for that first pickup. Yes! Oh, you're the guy! Wait, what? <laughs> he said, yo, he has to pay for two. It's a two for one, but he has to pay the double. That's crazy. It makes sense, though. Oh, he's a couple grand off. Oh, my goodness. That's terrible. 
Spend it wisely, it will last you for years. Please, you understand. Mm. Low profile, travel by night. Man, I'm telling you, characters like him and Mike are just so gold. I love their interaction with someone as young as Jesse. If you believe that you can pull on people's heartstrings, you should take your chances with the police. From where I sit, you made your own luck. Wow. Wow. Yep. Yep. Dude, he runs a business. <laughs> I can't get mad at that. Damn. That's that's a hard thing to swallow right there. That sucks. You are so full of crap. You didn't call anybody just now. <laughs> You faked it. No, I'm pretty sure he probably caught somebody. <laughs> he probably caught somebody. <laughs> I mean, he has nothing to lose. First question they're going to ask is, what am I doing here trying to hand over a hefty bag full of cash to a dude who runs a vacuum cleaner store? Oh, no, a part of me is thinking that this old dude's kind of loving this. <laughs> that's, there's a part of me. I don't know. Maybe that's just me trying to make light of the situation, but... Love that response time. <laughs> Take your money. Yo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love that he's still also trying to look out for him. <laughs> That's funny as heck. Very tall guy. 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Had a tattoo over his right eyebrow. Interesting. A large insect. <laughs> Damn, I wish I, I wish this character was a, was in Breaking Bad just a little bit more. When he first came onto the scene, him and Mike just gave off that same energy. Can I give you the phone? Jesse, is that you? Hey, Dad, yeah, it's me. How the fuck are you doing? Oh, God, he's going to ask them for money. Oh, man. Guys could come get me, maybe. We're on our way. Hey, and, uh... Oh, he's going to lead them out the house. He's already at the house, probably. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Dang, look at all those <laughs> undercover cops just waiting. Just waiting. Damn, that, damn, that sucks. <laughs> oh, hold up. Oh, so he went in there just to get the gun. Oh, snap. <laughs> He's going to visit these dudes and be like, yeah, I want the other two thirds of that cash. <laughs> Well, he's not alone. All right, Jesse, how you going to do this, man? I love that we are following this dude, man. I'm loving that we're getting Jesse on his own. Yeah, this definitely complicates the situation for Jesse. <laughs> how are you going to get this money, man? I can't believe he is doing this all for 1800 buckaroos, my guy. <laughs> hey, it's your money. What I just did, you don't even need that. I told you I built this thing right. <laughs> Bro, I'm not like impugning on your precious welding skills. Is he the one that built the cage? Like, oh, not the cage. He built the, the whole lab. I mean, I wouldn't doubt that he built the cage, too. 50 bucks says he breaks this thing right here, right now. 50 plus. Then you got to put up more of those, uh, would you call them gussets? <laughs> Todd, what the fuck? <laughs> Meanwhile, I mean, everyone's crazy here. But Todd is just... <laughs> what? Just playing around with the welder's mask, man. <laughs> All right, come on, get up. I got 50 bucks riding on you. I got to eat this month. Kenny, if he breaks his leg, he's not going to be able to cook. Be in the fucking HR department? Jesus. No one cares about him here. 
Like he's he's not even a human to either one of these dudes. He's a rat. That's all you need to know. Man. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't you know, I don't condone violence or anything, but what I can do is understand and I will completely understand if Jesse goes in there and caps the living hell out of him. Yeah, another thing, too, is that they're all on drugs. <laughs> it's not even just the fact that there's, like, multiple guys in there, but as they cut to them just doing cocaine. But, yeah, they're whacked out. So this situation is going to be extreme regardless of how you try to go about this. What long story? When I left, he didn't even have a fucking gun. Well, he's got one now, doesn't he? So, you know, shut up. <laughs> he said, yeah. Just, just stop talking. Stop talking right now. <laughs> it's like Animal Planet. This is some. This is some. Some alpha. <laughs> some some alpha exhibitory right here, man. Like, <laughs> what do you say? You're 22 against my 45. Wow, y'all gonna have a standoff. All he's asking is for $1,800. Just give it to him and no one has to die. Ooh, this is, oh, here we go, here we go. Quick draw, Red Dead Redemption, Arthur Morgan, John Marston. <laughs> Channel them all. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot he had two guns. I forgot he had two guns. Oh, my God, yo, that was an actual gunfight, yo. Damn. Ice creamed them, domed them, left them twitching. That's crazy. Right. Give me your license. Driver's license, do it! It's just interesting how killing is associated with Jesse and how it flips back and forth between a weapon and freedom for him. And he doesn't even really kill that many people. You tell the cops about me, and I am coming for every goddamn one of you. You understand? Yeah. It's also good to see Jesse about that energy, man. It is good to see this dude about it. Bag secured, mission accomplished. Get the heck out of there, man. Please. Don't have anything else happen, for the love of God. Good man. Yeah, blow that thing up. Blow that place up, man. Damn. The cathartic release from that is probably... Uh, <laughs> through the damn roof. <laughs> I can't even imagine that. Going through what he's experienced and then being able to... Come back and blow it up. <sighs> wow. Wow. <laughs> what a cool... That was such a cool way to do that. That was a cool way to do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they know. They knew people were gonna... They were gonna... <laughs> That's awesome. These guys are cool. I know when they were shooting this, they were probably like, yeah, we're cool. We're cool. We made a whole incredible series. Yes, that's us. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> Yo. Man, we're just getting 
We're, we're just getting fan service right now. I love it. <laughs> Bromelain. But close. Actually, it's not close at all. Are you going to eat? Really? Eat some. <laughs> no, I'm, I, mean. I wonder what season this is. It looks like one. Maybe beginning of two. And with a business degree? I mean, that's handy anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that could be cool. Yeah. Wow, you can see the RV right outside. RV is literally right outside, man. I'm getting crazy flashbacks. You're really lucky, you know that? You didn't have to wait your whole life to do something special. Mm. Damn. <laughs> I'm feeling like Jesse when <laughs> he said that. Like, my God. Right. He's finally here, man. Dude, I am so happy for Jesse, bro. Damn, I'm so happy for Jesse. It's quiet. Yeah. Figured you could use some of that. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Damn, I'm so happy for him right now. Mm. I love that he's in focus when he's doing that. That's good. I'm going to Mexico City in about a month. I'll nail it from there. Anyone else you want to say goodbye to? Uh, Mexico City. I wonder if that's to the kid. I wonder. The last frontier. Alaska. Yeah, yep. Brock. Wow. I love this. I love this so much, man. Yo, Jesse is out, man. Jesse's out. He's did it. He's finally did it, man. I'm getting choked up. Wow. Got Jane right there, too. Oh, man. I've gone where the universe takes me my whole life. It's better to make those decisions for yourself. Agreed. Agreed. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Man. End it right here, please. Please. Wow, y'all. Guys, that is El Camino. Oh, man. That was incredible. Ooh, Vince Gilligan does not play, doesn't he? <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of had to rewatch that ending multiple times. <laughs> it's it's something, and I feel like I've said this before in the earlier seasons of Breaking Bad that Jesse he just needed to leave. He just needed to go because his heart was just not meant for just what was happening. But man, guys, it's crazy. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> this like officially this officially wraps up at least breaking bad and man this this movie really is like um hit me my fills because you know that those last shots of jesse just finally starting over you know not even just starting over just starting anew and you know i can only hope that he can later on prosper live a quiet life have a family all of that right like it's crazy that this story of breaking bad is like you know it involves drugs and, and, and i'm talking about like hundreds of thousands millions and millions of money this there's just like this this polarity of 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 this this fast crime life and and i'm just like <laughs> you know, and it's all sort of just to like live a quieter life, right? It's like, I have to do these things to live a quiet life. But man, it's like, like it's always there. Going back to what um, Jane said at the end there is like, not letting the universe decide for you. Just, you know, letting yourself decide where you want to go. It's so good to have Jesse have that final say. I think he is the one out of every character in Breaking Bad. Every character. 
every character that deserves that the most. And I'm pretty sure that the writers knew that. I'm pretty sure that everyone a part of the show probably knew this. And I'm so happy that we were able to get a film on Jesse's journey and closing to him finally getting out and going to the place where he learned about with Mike. You know, like there's things like that where I, you know, I'm not surprised that this film is good. I'm not surprised that this film took the route that it did because of just the routes that they took within the show. It's so clear that they know what they're making. They know what they've made. And just to see it, just to see it all work out so well. It's just, it's so heartfelt. It's motivating. It's inspiring. But there's also this existential level that goes outside of the the script that I think speaks to a lot of us. You know, that, that, that speaks to the audience. And man, I'm telling you, when I'm, when I saw, when I'm seeing Jesse just driving off and just embracing this life that, you know, hopefully gives him a, a, like <laughs> leagues of happiness beyond the life of prior. Um, I don't know. That's just such a positive feeling. <laughs> that's a positive feeling. You know, going to, what is it, The Last Frontier? That's beautiful. Guys, that was El Camino. That was El Camino. I'm really excited to jump into Better Call Saul. Again, um, I'm going to, you know, again, this is for the Patreon. I'm not sure if this is going to be for the YouTube schedule, but for the Patreon schedule, I'm going to be taking a week break from uh, just Breaking Bad in general so I can just, like, digest some things. And then, you know, I'll be vacationing as well. But when I come back, we're going to be going into Better Call Saul, and I'm excited for that. But, guys, this 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 was such an awesome ride. <laughs> I had such a great time with this entire series for the exact same reasons that I just mentioned. You know, this affects me as a filmmaker, but it also affects me as a human being, you know, that is experiencing, you know, the... the <laughs> The, the lifetime of what or the transformation of a lifetime of what oral tradition turns into you know storytelling writing you know we're witnessing this granted at a massive magnitude nowadays but it doesn't deflate the impact of quality and and good work and genuine work and that's something that i felt with this with breaking bad with el camino and just the wrapping of these characters it really does feel good and I'm excited to see what you guys have to say about this. You know, I can definitely see how, well, first and foremost, I can see how when watching the show uh, live, how people could probably be upset with Jesse's exiting. Obviously, he, him escaping and, you know, yelling and victory would, you know, satisfied me. But now that I seen this ending, yeah, yeah, Jesse needed a send off. He needed a send off. I like him escaping was great and all, but I'm so happy that they answered the trauma that he would have felt experiencing that being a slave and and in cage for however long. You know, I'm happy that they addressed that. I'm happy that they closed up the Brock um, segment as well too. And I said this at the intro before we even hopped into the film. I feel like this is not just a uh, send off, but is a great way for the writers to really close out a lot of things as well too. But man, guys, I've had a blast with this. This was so incredible and really inspiring. So tell me what your thoughts are on El Camino. I'll see y'all on Better Call Saul. Stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches cause they give them free. Just like my time. Pull back in the backseat